Hey everybody, it's Luke over at Galaxy Tech Review, and today I've got a product from ZBT Link. This is their AX1800 4G LTE router with Wi-Fi 6. So it's going to support uh, 2.4 gigahertz and 5.8 gigahertz Wi-Fi, and it's also going to accept a SIM card that supports up to 4G LTE if you want to take this on the go and you want to uh, use this as a hotspot, you can do that as well. We're going to dig into this now, and I'll be right back. Okay, so this is everything that you get. Once you get it out of the box, you get the main unit itself. Of course, uh, the four antennas that you see in the back are non-removable, but there are two extras for your 4G uh, and LTE connections that are removable if you're going to use it as a 4G LTE router. They do give you a, some documentation here as well on how to get set up with this. Uh, insert your SIM card, go and check uh, the settings, which you can do either on your PC or you can do on your phone once you're connected. Uh, and it's a pretty simple setup, which I'm going to show you in just a little bit. Hold on to this just in case you need to reference it. Now, this, of course, can take a SIM card uh, up to 4G LTE. And you've got some micro nano uh, adapters here uh, of different sizes, depending on your specific SIM card that you're going to be using. I have a nano for T-Mobile that I will be testing this out with. And uh, it is uh, pretty simple. You just slide it right on there into the SIM slot in the back and you can set up everything in the configuration. Now you do have a little two prong to a barrel plug AC adapter here and it's nice and compact and I like that uh, because this unit is compact and if you want to take this and use this as a, a 4G LTE hotspot uh, you can easily do that with these accessories being small. They do give you a Cat5e uh, Ethernet cable here. Uh, you probably have a bunch of them already, but it's nice that they have this one in the box uh, for you to use if you do happen to need an extra one. You do get some mounting hardware here, uh, some plates and screws as well. Uh, so if you do need to use those, they are included in the package. And they do give you two extra antennas. These will go into the sides. They are your LTE 4G uh, antennas. So you can have two antennas for the LTE. And then the other four are going to consist of two antennas for 2.4 gigahertz and two uh, antennas for 5.8 gigahertz, making that Wi-Fi 6 setup. So you can use this as a traditional router uh, and just plug straight into the WAN port uh, and use it as a regular router that you would use at home if you want to. And you can take it on the go with, of course, the SIM uh, it's card on the back. Now we've got a reset hole, the SIM card slot, and then you see the DC input for power here. And uh, you do have a mesh button on the left hand side because this is mesh compatible as well so if you're going to set your network up as such uh, you do have that button on the back there for mesh as well now we can see that there are four LAN ports here LAN 1, 2, and 3 can be used for three wired connections and then you have your WAN port where you can just plug straight in from your ONT or your router uh, to use this as a Wi-Fi 6 router uh, just at your house. On the sides here we do have our 4G, 5G antennas here and you're going to see that those will go on the sides uh, so you will have your LTE an antennas on the sides and then the four on the back are going to consist of two for 2.4 gigahertz and uh, two for 5.8 gigahertz. This is made out of metal. It's not plastic, so it's hefty, but it is a small size, so it's going to be easy to transport if you need to take this somewhere. Okay, so this is what it looks like when it's all set up and ready to go, and we'll plug it in. You can see that there's lights uh, there uh, where the antennas are, and it shows you what each antenna is. Again, two of them are going to be for 2.4 gigahertz, two of them for 5.8 gigahertz, and then the two on the sides for the LTE, uh, just to kind of show you how this looks when it's totally set up. 
Okay, so once you turn on the router, it's going to have your 4G or 2.4G and 5G networks unencrypted. So you can just connect right to them, log in by going to 192.168.1.1, either on a PC or on your phone with a Wi-Fi. And you can then get this screen, log in with the default password of admin. Uh, this just gives you an overview of your system and all of the information, and you have that here on the home screen. Now under WAN settings, you're going to have your IP address, uh, MAC address, things like that, automatic acquisition or static IP, but the more important one is going to be for the 3G, 4G LTE here, where you're going to see your network operator. I have my T-Mobile SIM in here, uh, the SIM card number, the IMAI number, uh, your IP address, and down below you're also going to have some information telling you about your SIM card status being ready. You've got some extra uh, advanced options like username or password or pin code if you need it. Now for T-Mobile, I did not need it. I just put it into the back and I'm already ready to go for LTE here uh, for having to use this as a hotspot. So this works out just great. Now, of course, you have all of your normal things like your LAN, your DHCP here, uh, everything that you would normally see, static routing, terminal, uh, TTL settings that you would see on a regular router. Uh, the addition of the SIM card is great as well because then we can do things such as you know, uh, use this as a hotspot. Say you're on vacation, you're at a cabin where you don't have any broadband, you can bring this, plug it in, use the SIM card as a hotspot. You can configure uh, the 2.4 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz networks and Wi Fi setup. There's a few different uh, modes for your power adjustment or transmit power. Uh, wall mode is going to enhance that. And then uh, the Wi Fi Sun over here is for your mesh. You're going to be setting up your network that way. You also have a bunch of security settings, including firewalls, SYN floods, disabling IPv6. Uh, you've got your DMZ host, your dynamic D DDNS, your network watchdog. You have parental controls here, so you can set times where you want the Wi-Fi to just turn off. So if you put your kids to bed and you don't want the Wi-Fi on, you've got that there. You've got your Mac blacklist here as well. Most of these things you will see on uh, most regular routers. They do got some cloud management here. Uh, you can uh, do uh, some cloud management, uh, your PPTP and your L2TP, and of course port forwarding here as well. Uh, system management will allow you to upgrade the firmware here, uh, either uh, from a remote upgrade uh, from a URL address or online upgrade. Mine happens to be at the most current firmware. You've got other things like backup, system logs, reboot, and of course you have network diagnostics. Now this is an interesting tool to make sure that your network is working correctly. So say I want to go to uh, just ping uh, or trace route something, uh, I can put it in the top in the IP or domain name. Of course I misspelled Google there. So let's put in google.com and we're gonna ping that. And it's gonna take a few minutes uh, or seconds, I should say, to get your ping here. And this is just so you can see if you're getting any packet loss or anything like that. Now, trace routing is also something that you can do to further uh, check your system to make sure that you are connected correctly to the internet. Uh, and these are useful tools in here that, again, you'll find on a lot of other routers, but it's really nice to have them on here as well if you're troubleshooting your network. Now, trace route, as you can see, can take a little bit of time to happen, but the uh, main thing that I'm trying to get across here with this particular router is that it has a lot of features built in that will help you, uh, you know, as far as security goes and uh, uh, diagnostic tools uh, along with the addition of a 4G LTE SIM. Now they also have a base station survey, and this one is a nice tool as well, and I like to go over this. Uh, you've got your 2.4 gigahertz and your 5.8, uh, so let's check 5.8, and we're gonna scan, and what this is gonna do is it's gonna scan the 5.8 gigahertz 
wireless network around me so to see what my neighbors are using and what channels they're using. So that way I can set my channel to something that isn't congested, like 157, there's a few people on that already, 36 seems to be jammed up pretty well, and uh, you know I would set mine to maybe 40 or uh, 161 or 52 where there's only one there uh, so I can set my channel to a non-congested channel. So overall, this has a really nice layout to it. Uh, I really do like the layout uh, that this has. Uh, you have a lot of great features and tools with it. And of course, being able to use this as a LTE router when you don't have broadband uh, is definitely a plus. So that's my review of the ZBT Link AX1800 4G LTE router with Wi Fi 6. As you can see, I was getting some pretty decent speeds here while I was using it. And overall, it's got a great construction. And when you log into it, you have a ton of different options uh, that you can use. This is going to be something that is really great for people that are, travel a lot, maybe to obscure areas that don't have broadband and want to use uh, a SIM card to get them LTE so that they can use this as an LTE router. So if you're looking for one with with this feature, you might want to check this one out. This was Luke from Galaxy Tech Review. I hope you enjoyed my review, and I'll check you guys out on the next one.